Like I said, we got a 2009 Saturn Hybrid View. Um, we got a crank sensor right here in the package. So there's a part number on this crank sensor if you guys want to pick up this original part. Um, to get this crank sensor, you're going to have to come to the front of the vehicle right here. Look, right here where we at. You're going to go right down below. Um, if you look at right here, I took off the 13 millimeter of this pump here. And then I uh, took out the starter. The starter has a connector and um 13 millimeter bolt make sure that light you see that glove right there I, I hang that red cable right there this cable right here i hanged it i put a, a wrap around it it's live wire you don't want to short circuit that so i'm gonna take my camera inside and show you but we took out the starter the starter has a 15 millimeter bolt and another 15 millimeter bolt uh so there's one on the opposite side right there so you're gonna have to fish it right parallel to this 15 that's what i use right there the smaller ratchet right there with the extension and a 15 millimeter and um and a 15 millimeter bolt here that one don't take off this one until you get the first one out and i'm gonna put the camera inside so you guys can see the crank sensor that i took out so i had to flip my phone kind of but there it is there's your crank sensor right there guys it has eight millimeter mm bolt and a connector. That thing should just come right out and go right in. You're not gonna be able to <coughs> take it out any other way, okay? This will be the best bet unless you could fish it right from up the um this the oil filter housing. It's all up to you, but it's gonna be a disaster. Anyways, there you have it. Uh, if you guys got any questions, let me know. It should be that easy and simple. And I did the, all the work from right down here. Took me about 30, 40 minutes to get to it, and we're done. Okay, so kind of gonna be a blurry video, but uh, it is what it is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get this connector off. First, we gotta pull that tab off. There's hardly any room in here. So let me see if I can do it with this little guy. I'm about to get a pick. Yep, definitely gonna have to get a pick. So let's try with this pick. So we need to get that red tab out, out of the way. Make sure you don't poke any. Oh, usually this thing is stuck over time. Okay. Clean it up a bit. I don't want to go fishing from back there because then I'm not going to be able to lock it up. Ah, the whole thing came out <laughs> without the connector. Uh, the clip. Okay, you're supposed to squeeze it out, but the whole thing just came out. That's fine. That's fine with me. Now it's time to get my number eight in there. Okay, so what I need to do here is there's hardly any space for my wrenches and ratchets to get in there. But that will do, kind of. Oh, no, it won't do. Uh, my wrenches is backward. Okay. So attempt another, another attempt. There you go, somebody's out there driving with probably no oil in the engine. Hardly any space to work with down here. Okay, let's see if my hand can do it. Wow, I don't know why they design things like this, even if it's no space to work with. Okay, I'll be able to get my extension. And I sock it in, and let's see if I can get the baby out. There you go. You don't want to drop the screw inside this crack hole here. That would be really, really freaking disastrous. Anyways, let me see if I can put my hand in there. I'm not sure if the bolt is going to come out all the way because remember the new sensor comes with the bolt and the bolt kind of stays in there but this one doesn't stay in there so I'm just drop it on the floor and then the sensor should be able to you should be able to wiggle this sensor out okay oh, come on it's kind of sticking out I'm going to have to get a flash right? okay, I'm going to use my fork here let's see if the fork helps me in here Uh 
like that, it's coming out. It's coming out. You gotta go even, okay? You gotta go even. There you go. There's our crank sensor. Maybe out of there. Freaking sensor's out of there. And I'm gonna come down. Oh, there you go. There's the freaking sensor. Okay, time for me to get the new sensor. Let's go out here. I took the new sensor out of the packaging. Right here, so what we're gonna do is match it up, the length of it. It looks about the same. Perfect, my camera left the light in there. But it's the same thing, and uh, make sure it's not too long. So put some oil on this seal, okay? There comes the new sensor right here. Let's see if I can manage to get my hand all the way in there this time. Okay, all we're gonna do is align this baby and it should squeeze right in. Make sure you put oil on the seal. And then once it's in the spot, just push in on it. Make sure it's nice and flush, just like that. Bada bing, bada boom. It's in and ready to go. Let's take a look at this baby. There you go. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rest procedure everything. I'm gonna tighten up that bone. And uh should be uh good to go. Make sure you lock up the connector and everything in. Make sure you put the starter in. This is the only way. Okay, guys, if you could fish it from right here, I don't doubt it. You're gonna be able to fish it from up there, because that was my attempt number one. I wasn't really able to get it in there. But anyway, I'm gonna leave my video there. I'm gonna lock that up, tighten that up, and put the connector in. Bada bing, bada boom.